what do you mean by quadrilateral and what is its importance and then how it is going to be constructed in this chapter we are going to see that quadrilateral is a any four sided figure it is a any four sided figure now four sided figure may be any different dimensions it may be there first thing is we are going to see that we are very popular with respect to the square first we will start with the square then we will come back to the remaining quadrilaterals in a square first if you see all the four sides are equal all sides are equal that implies the length wise they are all equal and then let us call it as a b c d if you see sum of the angles in a tri in a quadrilateral that is in a square is 360 degrees angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to totally 360 degrees the midpoint of the diagonals is the same that is midpoint of ad midpoint of ac one diagonal and bd are same that implies the diagonals are bisecting each other second thing is going third point which we have to remember is going to be a rectangle in a rectangle let us call it as a b c d is a rectangle in this a b is the same as a b is equal to c d that implies opposite sides are equal in the same manner here a d is equal to b c now the next thing is going to be angle between them is also going to be 90 degrees that is angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d sum of these angles is equal to 360 degrees that implies the angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees but sum of all these angles is equal to 360 degrees the next point is going to be the midpoint of the diagonals is same midpoint of diagonals diagonals is the same now the next thing is going to be like this parallelogram if you see the figure let us call it as a b c d is a parallelogram opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal diagonals by the diagonals are AB, the diagonals AC and then BD bisects each other, bisects each other. Now, the angle between them, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D, sum of the angles is equal to 360 degrees. But each angle is not 90 degrees that point you have to remember now a little extension of this topic a little extension of this figure is trapezium now the next point is going to be let us call it as this fourth point suppose a trapezium figure is going to look like this in this let us call it as A, B, C, D is a trapezium. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. In this, sum of the one set of pair of opposite sides are equal. One set of pair of sides are equal but anyhow angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d 
anyhow it is going to be the 360 degrees angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 360 degrees now the next important point is going to be in a parallelogram one set of pair of adjacent sides are equal then we can call it as it is called a rhombus a parallelogram a parallelogram one set of pair of opposite pair of adjacent sides are adjacent sides are equal then you can say that it is a rhombus but the property in this rhombus is diagonals are perpendicular diagonals are perpendicular this one of the important point that implies one diagonal if you see this is one perpendicular this is going to be other perpendicular here this is the rhombus next thing is going to be suppose if i take one figure like this it is going to look like a pyramid but in this case this structure which we are calling it as a b c d if you take it this we are calling it as a kite in this case all sides are different but the diagonals are intersecting each other that point we have to remember this figure we are calling it as a kite but overall all the sum of the sides in this four sided figure is going to be the 360 degrees but in a quadrilateral but one point in a cyclic quadrilateral if you see there is a one quadrilateral which the on a circle if you take any four points if you take any four points then the figure formed by this one we are calling it as a quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral in this sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180 degrees this point you have to remember this is a center a b c d if you take it angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees if this is a sum of the opposite angles that is angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees sum of the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees now we are going to see the problems based on the quadrilaterals